Pricing Decisions, Topic 2, Costing and Pricing in the Long Run. Long run pricing is concerned with the pricing of products and services beyond a one year timeline. While short run pricing is concerned with prices for things such as special orders, long run pricing is related to the typical stable price that is ongoing for a given product or service. Long run pricing is typically viewed as needing to be stable with the primary objective being establishing long standing customer relationships. This requires a strong understanding of the company's cost inputs in order to determine a minimum baseline price. Long run prices are typically either cost based or market based and must typically be set in the context of the type of market the products are in. Cost based prices are those based on the full product costs, which include all indirect costs. Market based pricing are set by the markets that are competitive. Commoditized products will often have a market-based pricing approach in which the prevailing market price is set as the price for all orders. For example, gasoline, pure gold. With cost-based prices, these are for companies that do not operate in a highly commoditized, that is competitive environment. Uh, cost-based prices are typically preferred this is due to the quote wiggle room in the market, which refers to the customer's inability to find um, perfectly comparable product options. Uh, this might be to, due to differences in the quality, a uh, difference to price. Essentially, there's no perfect price to value ratio uh, that can be induced, whereas it can for crude oil. You want you know, fill up your car with gas. You can go to Husky or you can go to Petro Canada. Uh, you can just go to 7-Eleven across the street. You got a lot of competitors and they all will give you, you know, premium, unleaded uh, gas for your vehicle. Whereas when there isn't kind of a perfect competitor, you maybe have, oh, I don't know, you have your Starbucks and you have your Tim Hortons and you have your Sebastian and Co. You got lots of different coffee options. Some people would say that those are uh, perfect. <laughs> um, those are essentially commodities, you know, coffee is coffee is coffee. Whereas some of you are like, mm -mm, those are much different value. Um, those of you in Calgary, analog coffee. Um, oh my goodness, I could go on and on and on and similar here. So, you know, taking into consideration the marketplace, the strategies, um, where your company is positioned, all of these items come into play. We're of course going to be focusing more on the accounting side of it, but I do want you to be uh, cognizant of how these costs and um, market-based pricing strategies do incorporate into the overall strategy of the company. Cost-based long-run prices would also need to include considerations not included in short-run pricing decisions, such as indirect costs like non-manufacturing business function, uh, so I'm referring to IT costs, payroll costs, uh, items like that. In the short run, uh, such you're really looking at that incremental benefit, whether or not to accept that special order. And in the short run, you need to keep in mind that you cannot change the long run costs like IT infrastructure. But in the long run, you absolutely can. In the long run, you need to ensure that your pricing strategy is aligned with the company's overall profitability strategy and the quote, special orders do not come into play in the typical business decisions. Let's try a question. You work for a mining company that has just begun to work on a new copper mine in Chile. Product Project investors query you, <laughs> a staff accountant on the project, for the type of pricing that is used to determine the price of the copper that the mine produces. You explain that because of the nature of the market, this type of costing was used. Is it A, cost-based pricing, B, market-based pricing, C, value-based pricing, or D, butterfly pricing? The answer is B. Copper is a highly commoditized good Pricing will be set by the competitive market. So copper would be kind of like gasoline that we discussed a few moments ago. 
The type of pricing used for competitive markets is market-based pricing. I want you to keep in mind um, as we go through this week's topics to keep all this in mind when we start talking about transfer pricing, which will be one of the last topics in this course. So after the first big test, you'll start to see these topics and items kind of integrate again, just as you're seeing here, items and building blocks such as variable costs and um, and fixed costs coming into play in different types of applications. All of it is really just, you know, figuring out what is our user, what are their needs, and how do we best answer and address their problems. Okay, uh, that's a nice short but sweet, and I will see you in the next one.